Good morning, Woods. So this morning we didn't really do much. We just cleaned the house because Whaley's mom is about to bring uh, Whaley's dogs here because her parents are gonna go camping and nobody's gonna be home. We have Mish soup here. We have the the we have the devil soup, the one that looks really cute. But if she sees another dog, mmm, it's gonna be a cat. Wah. Wah. So yeah, we're just gonna, um, I'm just gonna bring her back to my house and Whaley's gonna stay. Okay, baby, you ready to go home? Okay, good girl. Okay, let's go. So we just got home and Michi just always wants to go to the backyard because she just loves our backyard for some reason. Huh, hi Michi, you wanna go? What are you staring at? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Mr. Bumbum. Hello, Bumbum. Hello. So, as you guys remember, the zucchini that I showed you guys a few days ago has grown this huge. This is the fattest zucchini I have ever seen. Like, it's like almost four fingers wide. It's huge. It's stubby, though. It's like really short and stubby. But, damn! I've never seen a big ass zucchini like this, guys. Hey, look at this zucchini. Oh, <gasps> what the? Fuck? <laughs> What's the last time you've seen a big ass zucchini like never? this? Never. It's kind of dirty. Watch out. Oh. It has soil. Holy shit! I know it's huge, huh? I have never seen. I didn't want to harvest it at first, but then oh. it was um, it was pushing the other plants. It's really heavy. It's hella heavy. What the fuck? That I mean... have never. This is like a thong guac. I know. I wonder if that's good. Like. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to harvest them when they're little. We'll see if it tastes good. The yeah. first one tasted good though. It tasted yeah, like- Yeah, that one was really good. You would just get out of the market. Is this like completely organic? Like no pesticides? No pesticide at all. Go babe. Mm -hmm. No pesticides. <laughs> yeah. Job, really nice, here. really nice. Hi. <laughs> Hi Lucky. Do you want this? So as you guys remember him, um, he just had the surgery about two months ago or yeah, maybe two months ago. And uh, yeah, he's fully recovered actually. And his fur is um, still not going back. <laughs> it's taking a little longer. We are here oh, at an RV time. park because um, Whaley's parents are um, camping here. We are heading to the garlic festival, which happens I think once a year here in uh, Gilroy, California. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. It is really hot today. We just got to the garlic festival and um, it actually doesn't smell like garlic, right? It smells like barbecue. Yeah, maybe just this section. Yeah, but I smell more like just barbecue versus garlic. Oh, you guys, it's hot today. It's like a hundred something. Yeah, I feel like I'm melting right now. But um, I think I want to get buttered garlic shrimp. What do you, what do you think you want? Uh, I don't know, anything that sounds good to me. <laughs> And now it's dinner time for all three babies. We didn't tell you guys yet, but my parents are camping, so I'm being the dog sitter and Michi is just back with Wa's mom right now. Uh, that's money, happy, lucky. And they are finally eating because they haven't eaten in about a day and a half because they're just being so picky. So I mixed some wet food in there and it seems like they really enjoy it. You better, bitches. So I decided not to paint my nails and I decided to do some online shopping, how dangerous. But uh, I've been wearing velour, oh I'm not even wearing lashes right now, I like refer to my eye, but girl like there ain't no lashes right there. So I used to use, well I still do use velour lashes, but I decided I want to try some other brands and see if I like them better. And this brand is pretty popular too, House of Lashes. My friend used to work there or she interned there back in college and she got me like two pairs for me to try. 
and I don't remember if I really liked them or not. I think that there was one pair that I really liked and I Instagrammed it, but I don't remember if I liked the other pair. Um, so yeah, anyway, I decided to order some and try it out. So far, I'm looking at this one. Um, this one is called Noor Fairy. Oh, here, this is the brand right here, House of Lashes. And this one looks really pretty. My only thing about lashes is that you may think that it's easy to pick a pair of lashes, but when you have mono lids or just kind of like a heavier eyelid, I mean, I don't think my eyelid is really heavy, but it is kind of droopy. A lot of times eyelashes, like for me, I can't wear ones that are too long. Otherwise they would almost reach my eyebrow. So I'm just trying to figure out how long this eyelash is because it may look really good in these pictures. Like in this picture right here, it looks really good. Oh, but actually it's almost reaching her eyebrow too. But yeah, I don't want that. I don't want people to look at me and be like, oh, all I can see is her lashes. I want it to be like, oh, that looks natural. It looks like she got a little something, something. That's what I want. Oh, by the way, uh, we posted our first Chinese vlog, like, two three days ago and for those of you um that didn't read the description we actually wrote right here in the video description for people to read this whole description but i think a lot of people didn't so quick explanation basically we are doing we're trying this thing out to speak chinese in our vlogs just because our families watch our videos and they don't understand our videos and we thought it would just be fun because it's something that has never been done on youtube well maybe it has been done but we haven't noticed it well at least in chinese so if you guys didn't know we are chanis the dirty chanis and we just wanted to you know incorporate something new in our videos even though we understand that not everyone speaks chinese but a lot of our viewers are chinese speakers chinese and yeah we just thought that it might be fun um to start like a new series and start like a new playlist with the speaking chinese but anyway we tried to do subtitles for it but oh my god girl literally i did the subtitles five times and each time it wouldn't save all of it it would only save bits and pieces of it i'm like what the f so juan and i are still trying to think of a better idea to add subtitles or we're thinking we'll either just post all the chinese videos on a separate channel but it's just such a hassle to go through making such a making a different channel when it's still us you know what i mean so anyway that's just kind of like a short breakdown of what that was all about and we're really sorry for those of you that couldn't understand we're really gonna try to find a way to make it work. Ah, oh, so it's 5.15 a.m. I better get to sleep. I've just been editing <clears throat> my back to school video and yeah this is what it looks like i use final cut pro <clears throat> a lot of you have been wondering what i use so i do use final cut pro x unfortunately it's not free so you have to purchase it from apple's website but uh i heard that i mean bleh, i know that imovie upgraded and it's pretty decent now and wall uses imovie to edit our vlogs so that's pretty good too in case you guys are wondering about video editing programs so I just came back home with the rabbits and I didn't vlog at all when I was home because it was just so hot and uh, yeah, I was like burning like a hundred or something degrees and I had to like move all this stuff to the um, to the van. So, so far I'm just putting them here. Um, I do not have the carpet in for them yet because I'm still washing them because they are so stinky. Here's a uh, Bun Bun's carpet, which I'm gonna wash later. I'm gonna wash theirs first because they have longer nails and they can't really walk on this. So I'm just gonna wash the carpet real quick and come back, cut their nails, and then, yeah. So he's just in the litter box, and then she's in her other box. She's just chilling. She's hella just laying down. Hi, fatty. So I just got the carpet host off, and uh, I'm gonna use this carpet cleaner, and um, after this, I think I'm just gonna go over it with some dish soap so I can get rid of the, um, the oils and stuff like that. You guys can see there's like poopy right there and right there and right there. Parts like those, you know, really clean it. And I'm using this little brush that I got from the hardware store. So yeah, oh shit, there's bees. 
So Wiley just came back and we are now setting up the space for the rabbits. We are still not sure how to put them just because um, they both face like the, the doors and stuff. They kind of get in the way of each other how we want to put it. So yeah, we're still debating on how we're going to put this. So this is where we normally keep our rabbits during the day. They just have this small space because we don't love them. Just they're just temporarily in here for now until Wa finishes putting together this thing. And it was so cute earlier. He was he was on top of her. I think he was protecting her because she's a little bit of a scaredy cat. She gets scared from like noises and things like that. And he's really brave. So I think he was just trying to protect her. Like, I have you, honey. Don't worry, honey. <laughs> huh. He's overprotective. Yeah. He is overprotective. Yes, you are. Yes, you are a good bun bun. Oh, by the way, um, a while ago when we used to vlog about our rabbits a lot, you guys wanted us to do a Q&A on rabbits. So whatever questions you have, leave it down below and maybe we'll talk about it in our next video. So we just got done with mostly everything and uh, I guess we decided to use this rug for the rabbits. And yeah, this is uh, what we will have for now. Um, we do plan to paint them. Oh, I think I already told you guys, but we plan to paint them and um, hopefully match them, I think. Right, babe? Are we going to match them both? Mm -hmm. Match them, right? I think I want to do like cream with like pink accents, like the doors would be pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or yellow. Maybe pink. pink. Yellow. Pink. I think yellow. I like pink. <laughs> white. White. Yeah. Like Let's do white. white. Someone likes their food by their butt. Are you gonna let one go? Baby over here like, yeah, new home, chillaxing. She's like, what's good? What's good, homie? No! We're late for the movie. We, we can see the movie playing right now. We, what? we wasn't, we weren't going to be late, but then there was this guy, I guess, that got arrested and they had to block off this road so the we only to, road the only road that gets here so we took this huge detour i think we probably like made a huge circle that was about like two or three miles yeah like 15 yeah. minutes 15 minutes did no, it take like, 15 minutes yeah it took a hell along <clears throat> oh yeah it was pretty far so yeah. now there's i think everyone um encountered that accident too because normally when you're late for the movies there's not such a long line yeah. and there's like this huge line right now ahead of us and yeah shucks i want to know what's going on don't you hate when you miss the first few minutes of the movie it's like for the rest of the movie you just feel kind of lost dang it <clears throat> dang it dang it oh by the way facial update the facial went well today it wasn't as painful i mean it was really painful but i guess because it didn't last so long, it made it okay, it wasn't too bad. But um, it was pretty painful for the like the 10 minutes that she did extractions, meaning like just like scraping out your blackheads and like um, poking it with the needle. I know that sounds crazy, but she basically pops it with the needle to drain out the pus, the pus in bacteria. your pimple. <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, that part was horrible. I was like almost in tears, but it was only about 10 minutes, so. Yeah, my face feels soft though even though there are some bumps over here, but then that's gonna go away. Normally, every time after I get a facial, or it's pretty normal for everyone, once you first get a facial, your face is kind of like poofy because of um, just being swollen, and then give it like two days and your skin is gonna be like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So the movie just ended. It was a pretty, good, pretty movie. good movie. Yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of people left during the movie. I don't know if they got bored of it or something, because earlier there was a ton of people here and then people just started leaving. I thought it was a really good movie though. It was really touching. I wish there was more to the ending though. Yeah, same here. Yeah, the ending I was I think there's going to be more. another one. Oh, yeah. Because they just left off one thing. Now I'm going to go home and watch the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? Have you seen it? <laughs> oh. I haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. yes. hey. That was really good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, we're going to go home now. Bye! Peace out.